Hi, I'm Tracy Berry. I am with Delta Defense, the service provider for the United States Concealed Carry Association. Uh, uh, VPM, that's what they call me here. I'm the director of training for C2 Tactical. The USCCA stands for the United States Concealed Carry Association. Um, like it offers training and education, but also another member benefit is the self-defense liability insurance coverage that's provided. Well, I'm really excited to share the training and education. It is top notch, and that's one of the many reasons why C2 decided to partner with the USCCA and correlate their training courses with the USCCA's training courses. You can also take it a couple different areas as well that we go through in our classes, and that's one of the reasons you want to take a CCW1 class with us to understand the positives and limitations and actually the benefits of having a CCW. The second thing it does, so the first thing it does, you can carry in multiple places that you can't without it. Second thing it does, it allows you to have reciprocity, and that changes on occasion depending on what gets voted and, and not at different states. Little caveat associated with that, even though you can carry if you have a reciprocating state, the minute you step in across lines there, their use of force policies apply. Super important to know that. This is why we partner with the USCCA. If you're gonna travel from one state to the other, you can pick up the phone, get an expert to give you actual legal advice and explain to you what their use of force policies is, or at minimum, get a lawyer in that area that you can speak with to get that information. Third thing it does to get a CCW is quite frankly, just education and information. All right, what makes the USCC the right organization to join to become a member is that you're covered in any lawful act of self-defense that's otherwise excluded with any legal weapon of opportunity that's not federally excluded, but you're also covered in all 50 states and territories of the United States. Well, having a concealed carry permit uh, allows you to do a couple things that you can't do uh, if you do not have one. Arizona is a, an at-will state, it's an open carry state, and it's also a concealed carry, what they call discrete carry state. Uh, you can carry a gun without uh, a CCW anywhere except for some significant places. And that's what the CCW allows you to do. You can carry into, for example, a restaurant that serves alcohol. If you do not have a CCW, you are not allowed to have a firearm. With the CCW, and there's no exemption from the ARS, I believe, 229 sign, and you're allowed to have firearms in there, as long as you don't drink, you can have that firearm. So essentially, you can be your family's designated driver and protector. Um, once you become a member, you are set up with a member dashboard, and that will give you access to all the online training courses that are called Protector Academy classes. Um, but another huge benefit is the uh, app, the Reciprocity app. If you're traveling, Ignorance is not an excuse once again. You have to know the laws in every state that you're traveling to. And the USCC has the perfect app called the Reciprocity Map. So CCW1 is the basic class. Again, explaining uh, awareness skills, how to avoid things, uh, the laws uh, regarding carry in uh, Arizona, and covering the minimums that are required by the state and DPS for you to get your CCW. Distinctly different from the CCW2 class. The CCW2 class is really talking about personal protection plan, uh, aftermath of a critical incident, and most vitally in the minute, in the middle, excuse me, we spent a whole lot of time in our simulation room putting you through simulated personal protection and self-defense events. Because it's really simple. The fact you can carry a gun doesn't mean you can apply that force in, in a proper way, in a legal way, ethical way, in a moral way. So the training that development really is the basic knowledge, then the judgmental skill set of whether to apply force or not, and eventually some other skill sets so we get you with shooting and the like. So the CCW really is that second, I think, mandatory uh, part of it. Um, and, and don't worry about taking it in sequence either. If you wanna take the CCW first, two first, that's fine. You will not get your certification, uh, but you'll at least get that experience. You can make it, uh, I think, a more informed and educated decision on whether you wanna carry a firearm for personal protection or not. So getting the ability to carry at different places, right? Getting the reciprocity, but also understanding the limitations as well, the use of a firearm in a personal protection or self-defense situation. Super important to keep you from be going from victim right, to the bad guy like that. Super, super important.